Okay guys, this is good. Sobrang sikat, pero wala ng tao ngayon, but it's good noodle. Guys, this is literally $10 for three sticks. So ganyan siya guys. Scorpion, mga itis, cockroach, yun 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 bet. Ito parang masarap to. So we're just going around. 30 lang siya. 4, 6, 4, 7. Oh, 4, 7. Grabe. Ang dami pagkain. I think you're super surrounded. Pero feeling ko sobra kang mga ngamoy. Uy, may mga agates pa sila. Hey guys, so so far we're having our dinner. Masarap yung mala na seafood. But it's better if you have rice na star. So this one is the soup. Tapos hahanapin mo sa nang hahanapin. It's addicting when, it, when you start eating it. So we got like um, a big bowl. But we didn't get it so big because we didn't get it. But we're still quite full from lunch. Yeah guys, it's really good. It's also one of my favorite dishes. But guys, this one, the shrimp one that we just tried, it's good. It's a must-try dish whenever you guys are gonna go here. And it's ready for lunch. Eh, I can't eat it. Ah, it's <laughs> good. So yeah guys, what's that? Pikoy. Hong Tang Si Pa. Okay, try it. This is brown sugar on top. Wag yung kapahin ng kahay na lang. Hindi mo hindi mo kailang hawak yung plate. Hindi mo kita sa video. Guys, masarap siya. Masarap daw. Kasi sa matamis. So this one guys is coconut dessert. So since we're eating something sour, it's very mala. So sour siyang manghang. May peppercorn kasi siya. So medyo nag-sisting siya sa dila. So to balance it out, nag-order kami ng parang hindi siya parang. Dessert siya. Na malamig. Pero hindi na siya ganun kalamig ngayon kasi kanina pa namin in-order. So susubukan natin siya. Meron siyang coconut, watermelon, sago, and some jelly. Okay. Sis, sis, ang sarap ng dessert. Yung hindi ko lang orderin ulit ito. Lahat, lahat orderin ko ulit. Ay guys, hindi siya coconut almond siya. I'm mistaken. Mmm, masarap. So yeah guys, ang sarap ng aming dinner today. It didn't disappoint. Magpapamasahay kami tonight. We're gonna go to a massage place. But instead, we're gonna be... Hey TV! What do you mean Chinese? KD Chunky. Ah, KD What's KD Wei? You shouldn't pronounce it as KD in China. It should be pronounced No, it's KD Wei.
morning everybody. So it's been raining the whole morning. So it's currently 2.09 p.m. So we're here we are still here in Long. We were supposed to eat at the Tongman uh, street food place. Um, it's the food village that we went to yesterday that sells different like two RMB for 30 sticks, but because it's been raining, it's quite difficult for us to travel. So what we did is we're just gonna be here at the mall for a while until the rain stops and we're here at the 1234 Space Mall. And then now we're having our um, DIY choose your own bowl of hot pot. So I got mostly gulai stuff, I got blood, and I also got my sauce here. And then um, our dear friend Katrina also got some fresh juices downstairs for us to balance out the spiciness because I got the medium spicy. So anyway guys, um, we're just gonna be eating. We haven't eaten the whole day so this is gonna be our first meal of the day. So this one is um, a go-to place for most Hong Kong people. So it's a go-karting place but it was a twist. So here you guys could choose different themes. So this one, the one that we just saw outside is I think um, one of their famous themes here. So most of the Hong Kong people go here just to try the go-karting. We're gonna see if we would be able to try it out and then we're gonna be selecting one of the themes here that we would want to go-kart into.
，我们的桌子。Hey guys, we just finished our go karting experience here in Shenzhen. So, how was your go karting experiences? It was amazing. Amazing, tiring a little bit. Because it's hard to ride, but you need to be a little bit faster. It's hard to ride, but you need to be a little bit faster. But it was a good, fun experience. You need to be fast. Oh, you need to be fast. So you don't get tired. And you don't get tired. Because when you ride, it's hard to ride. It's hard to ride in the head. But it was a fun experience, guys. Recommended. We're now here at Sun Plaza. We just finished our time zone slash go karting session this afternoon. Um, it's almost six o'clock p.m. or maybe over six p.m. already. We're gonna have a photo booth. Um, us three to commemorate our very memorable trip here in Shenzhen. So we're looking for a photo booth place. We're now here at Sun Plaza because we saw and searched online that they have it here. So come on, guys. Guys, we just finished our cute photo booth session. We are now here at One Avenue Mall. We're gonna be having our dinner at Hot Pot Station. Hot Pot Station. Hot Pot 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 Hot yung location where we are staying. So if you guys are planning to go here, although their Shenzhen is really really big and really really beautiful, there are also some other places to go to. But as a start, um, it's a good place to go to. Tongman is a good place to go to because the food, shopping, and then accessibility, playing. Don nga yung may mini time zone kame. Hindi nga siya mini. So ben lang yung time zone. KTV meron den. So so ben complete na siya within that area. So if you guys are planning to go on a short trip here, Tongman is really a good place to go. And some additional info or specialty about this restaurant is the meat they serve is served room in room temperature, meaning fresh, fresh. meat. Versus the usual natin na kinakain, which is always frozen. So that's what this restaurant is quite known for. So actually, yung pila namin sa labas, it wasn't that bad. We did online booking while we were at the station on the way here. So yun, mga 30 minutes nga. Um, we're sitting by the bar area kasi pag mag-wait pa kami for a table, medyo mas matagal. Oh, one hour. So anyway, we have our own pots here on the table. So I'm excited to eat. And they also gave us some free food kasi nagantay kami for more than 30 minutes. Sobrang makikita mo yung pagka-freshness niya. Iba yung lasa. As in, I'm not kidding. It's not fat beef. Even though it looks kind of the same as a frozen beef. Pero sobrang iba pag it's super fresh. And so, nag-order kami ng isa pang order. Ang sarap. And then, this one as well. <laughs> Ito, nag-order naman kami ng fatty beef. Gusto namin i-try. Yung difference. Oo, oh, na fresh din. So, all meat here in this restaurant, they always serve it really, really fresh. And wala sila talagang frozen meat. Lahat din, they hand-cut it in front of us. Pakita ko sa inyo yung video. Guys, we're 
we're now back in our hotel here at uh, Tongwen area. So earlier today, they also gave us um, this free chair where you could put your phone on top so that you could vlog easily. And then I'll give you guys a quick comment, Terry, on our whole trip. So of all the food places that we ate to, uh, I really, really enjoyed the night's dinner. I think that's my number one. The least that I would recommend uh, based from whatever it is that we have tried would probably the dim sum place. I expected quite a lot more from it. That's why um, I'm gonna rank it at the bottom part. So I really liked tonight's dinner because the beef was really, really like a must-try. It's really a must-try, the freshness of the beef. And we really know that it's fresh because when a few customers also came, they ran out of beef already. So we know that uh, all the beef is freshly delivered to their restaurant every day. So aside from that, um, our whole trip was really, really enjoyable, memorable actually. I had a great fun weekend. Um, it's been a while since I've really enjoyed my weekend this much. For the food, good company, as well as um, a little bit of shopping or maybe a little bit much more. And yeah guys, so I'll see you guys again. Till next time, thank you guys for watching. Thank you.